Hi, my name is Karimi Kagwe, and um, this is my firstborn. Her name is Taji Kagwe, and she's uh, three months. She's almost four months, actually, at the end of this month. And how I got to hear about Eve's mama was from a friend of ours, um, a friend of George, actually. He'd been talking yeah. about yes, Taji. You want to hear this story also? Yeah, he'd been telling us about uh, a midwife who has a birth center, and that was something foreign to me, and actually foreign to both of us. And we, we'd been seeing a doctor, an OBGYN, uh, throughout our pregnancy, and uh, we were ready to uh, meet this midwife and just find out um, what kind of information we, we would receive and how, how she could help us to understand this whole pregnancy process and even prepare for the birth. Because as this was our first child, we basically had no idea what to expect, especially for my husband, who used to hear about pregnancy and he's like, yuck. <laughs> so I was, I was actually prepared not to even have him with me during the whole birth process. We were, I mean, I was cool with it because I do understand that for men it's harder through, uh, you know, to understand what actually happens in the bathroom. They'd rather be outside and wait for the baby and say, yeah, I'm a dad. So yeah, we met her and... For me, what I loved about coming to Eve's mama and being introduced to Lucy is I finally felt like pregnancy and birth is a very natural process. It's nothing to be afraid of. I'd been operating in fear throughout because we go to hospital and they take you through so many tests. And for me, I felt free. I finally felt free and I finally understood that it's a natural process and all the knowledge and all the, the strength that uh, we require to actually bring forth a child is within us and yeah so when we went through the birth essential preparation class we learned so much we got to understand what was happening in my body we got to understand what was going to happen after i mean during the birthing process and even prepared uh prepared ourselves sweetie wait she's sleepy yeah prepared ourselves to take care of her when she arrived so yes that's how i got to hear about his mama and that's why I'm a sworn <laughs> believer in this whole midwife uh, you know experience and I, even our number two we are not having more than three George <laughs> even for other babies we we definitely want to come back and, and continue to to partner with his mama and and uh, and uh, proceed to take care of our, our young ones mm. So uh, if I was to talk a little bit about uh, my journey, uh, <laughs> yes, our journey, <laughs> our journey through the pregnancy, uh, I, was, I was found to have fibroids, massive ones actually, and it was actually a really difficult pregnancy for me. I was put on bed rest multiple times and um, it, uh, we, I had to go through this process called fibroid degeneration and we were in and out of hospital throughout the the first trimester, second trimester. And to be honest, we never really understood exactly what was happening. We're always operating in fear. We're going for scans and, you know, trying to understand what was happening. Sometimes it used to feel like I was actually going into labor. And um, yeah, so I, I actually the first time I got to understand and the first time I actually felt understood is when we came to be introduced to the, the birth center and she finally, I mean, and Lucy explained what happens when you have fibroids and she actually encouraged us and helped me, you know, um, find peace and to, you know, to believe that I could actually have a natural birth because I'd already been told with the fibroids I had, I might have to have a C-section. So, I mean, that was a scary thing for me because, you know, going through major surgery is not a fun thing for anyone. So, yeah, so when we finally understood now what actually happens when you have fibroids and how, how they affect the pregnancy and what happens to them even after birth, I mean, everything became simpler for us because during the pregnancy they're growing, after birth they shrink, and this, exactly, that's exactly what happened with, with our pregnancy. Uh, after birth they disappeared and I haven't had any complications, I haven't had to go through surgery to have them removed, like I had been told before. 
So yes, that's that's exactly what happened through our journey, and it was natural, it was easy. Okay, not easy. Labor is not easy, <laughs> but we managed, we survived, and yes, and we have a beautiful little girl to to prove that the process is doable. Yeah. The best thing actually about this birth essential process is that it's for both the father and the mother, and for my husband George, who like I said earlier, does, did not want to be in the room during the birth or even used to have, you know, yucky thoughts about the whole pregnancy process. It helped him, it helped demystify what pregnancy was. It helped demystify what um, the birthing experience was, was going to be like. And I'm happy to say he was there throughout the pregnancy. He was there even in the birth like during the birth, the birthing process, he was there holding my hand and cheering me on as I labored throughout. And even he was there to cut the cord. I mean, I can't, I can't put words to that, <laughs> to the value of him being there with me. And I know right now, I think he can even teach a birthing preparation class because he really learned so much. And he, he, he was able to engage the other fathers during the class who are also first and dads. And uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend that even for you who would want to come for the Bath Essential pro uh, Program, come with your partner because it helps to make the whole journey easier for the both of you. Yes. So what happened in my case, like um, we, we wa oh sorry, what happened in our case, <laughs> what happened in our case was uh, we were, we had planned to have a natural bath and thankfully that's exactly what we had. But what happened was um, first, I, my, my, water, my waters broke at 37 weeks. 